Buenos Aires. Oh. So that is Retiro. Bienvenido. The wheel. <laughs> Casa Rosada. Bro. Hey, Welcome everybody to Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina. I'm currently in the barrio, the neighborhood of Recoleta to the north. That big building you saw just before, that one there is La Facultad de Derecho, the Law University. It's massive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen large pillars supporting the front of the structure. It's not uncommon to see graduation celebrations happen as you can see on the ground in front of me tons of confetti streamers sometimes eggshells that have been thrown at the graduates to celebrate obviously quite a tourist attraction and also an exercise spot Especially on a lovely afternoon like it is today. I am absolutely loving the sun on this crisp winter's afternoon here. This is called the Floralis Genetica, which I believe translates to the generic flower, which it is anything but. So they may have to change the name after this vlog blows up and people start questioning it like I am. But it's 20 meters, in 20 meters high, weighs 18 tons, and it also follows the sun and opens and closes, which is pretty cool. And they put on a ton of light shows here during the night, during certain celebrations, festivities, Argentine public holidays, all the general things that you would celebrate in a large city like Buenos Aires. Spectacular! All right, that's it for the giant flower, Floralis Genetica. Now let's continue our afternoon walk here in Buenos Aires. This giant avenue here is Avenida del Libertador, the Libertator's Avenue, and it runs right around the north of Buenos Aires. I'm currently just walking along here, walking closer to the center of the city to the economic hub where all of the business is happening and where I'm sure there's some interesting folks about for me to converse with. I think this car park here is quite interesting. Right next to the train lines few rundown train carriages and that there is Retiro train station Retiro train station one of the largest one of the most one of the principal stations here in Buenos Aires for trains metro and also buses so let's head there now and have a look So this is one of the most northeastern points in the city where Retiro is located. And as I said earlier, it is a transit hub. Subway, metro, buses, buses through the city and also buses out of the city. And the train station itself is also quite impressive. So let's go check that out. Hey, Come on, yeah. bro. Hey, hey, hey. 
Those flags up the top there are looking a little tattered. Just a heads up, right next to Retiro is one of the largest beaches here in Buenos Aires, if not the largest one. So you definitely want to be careful with everything, with all of your belongings as you're coming around here, especially during the night. It is a hotspot known for its crime just around this bus stop here. Ask any of the Argentines and they will be sure to tell you Cuidarte, cuidarte en Retiro. Por eso. Retiro Station in all its glory. Oof. Mucho más lindo adentro. There we go. Vamos a Argentina. Te amo. Look at how impressive this place is. That's quite, it's very quiet at the moment. Just surprising, it's 5 p.m., five past five. <laughs> Look at this. We have a piano. You. Hola, que tal? Muy bien. Muy bien, y vos? Sí, muy bien. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Luan. 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 Soy Jack. Ah, okay. no, no, soy de Australia. No, soy de Australia. Ah. ¿Vos, vos sos de aquí? No, Brasil. Brasil, sí, sí ahí, gente. Sí, ¿De, sí. ¿De dónde vos es no Brasil? São Paulo. São Paulo, qué legal. So, Here we go. Luan, his show. We're about to stun this amazing crowd here in Retiro with music that's going to blow you away. Let's go. There we go, a little improv there in the streets, in the Retiro train station here in Buenos Aires. That is actually the first time I have ever sung live for anyone. So, thankfully the crowd wasn't too big. Two people. Voces, Vieta, Voces. Como están? Todo bien. Bien, vos? ¿Y vos? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Fernando. Fernando. ¿Y? Camila. ¿Cómo se dice? Vieta en el show. No, llegamos al último. Bien, ahí. Bueno, un gusto. Igualmente. Suerte. Chao. Fanáticos. Fanáticos de Luan y Jack. Los mejores cantantes de buenas series. El australiano y el brasilero. Cantando aquí por la gente. Now, this is looking more like the peak I was expecting around Retiro here in Buenos Aires. So when you spend most of your time around Palermo and Recoleta, the wealthier neighborhoods, you really don't see much of this here in Buenos Aires. So having it so close just here in Retiro is quite an experience the first time you come here. Plenty of street vendors. I'm sure you could find anything you were after. <laughs> Sandwiches, sunglasses, belts. All for a very reasonable price too. See there you can see the top of El Barrio, the Visha, and yes, I'm walking there right now to show you the entrance and then I'll head down into the subway to see what the peak hour is like down there. Claro. That guy there was just telling me to watch my camera. 
and he has plenty of reason to be saying so. And if you look to my left, that is the entrance to the Visha. And then just over here is the train station. So that is Retiro. Bienvenido. Welcome. Alright, now we're going to head down into the subway, into the metro, and see how busy it is down there. Definitely peak hour here at the moment. not as busy as I thought it would be. Anyhow, I'm going to catch the, catch the subway to El Abolisco, the famous monument of Buenos Aires, and we'll check that out. Here we have the soup de card. The subi card, Buenos Aires, Argentinas card you can get one of these and you can use it in every city here in Buenos Aires it's the same transport for all of them which makes things quite helpful so Tiro and I want to go to Diagonal Norte Diagonal Norte that's where I'm off to let's go looks like we have a ton of people here We're waiting to get on the blue line First in best dressed here. One thing you will learn here if you spend enough time in Buenos Aires is that there is no room for courtesy on these metro lines. Get in there, get out. Here we go, we have a street performer. De nada, ¿cuál es tu nombre? Florencia. Florencia, ¿de dónde sos? La princesa de Florencia. De, de González Catán. ¿Cómo? González Catán. González Catán es la princesa. Bien ahí. Gracias. Suerte. Gracias igualmente. Igualmente. Gracias. Chao. <laughs> Love that stuff. You know, I always appreciate seeing street artists or anyone out there doing that basking because it takes some serious nerve to go out there in front of the people and perform, bask. Sometimes they're not that great as you saw back there and put yourself out there to earn some cash, to earn a crust. Come on, amigos, tell the end. The famous Obelisco de Buenos Aires. I hope I don't get hit by a bus. <laughs> just come screaming around the corner there. But here it is. In all its glory. Buenos Aires has a reputation for pickpockets and El Obelisco, being a very, very famous tourist attraction, is actually one of the hot spots. Another place all the Argentinians will warn you about when here, when coming here, is to watch your phone, watch your pockets. Here we have some Spider-Man in the street. Como va amigos? Todo bien? Que tal? Quien es el hombre araña real? Ahí va. Yes, you're in training. No, I, I studied since I was four, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I'm from Australia. Australia, okay. 
You're from here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are from here. Yeah, yeah. Me gusta lo que están haciendo. Thank you, thank you. Fuerte. Así cuanto que están haciendo lo? Months? Very cool. Yeah. Ten, tenés coraje para hacerlo. Se cuesta. You're welcome. Yeah. Are you streaming? Um, uh, it's, I'm going to make a YouTube video. Oh, okay. Uh, what yeah. What's your channel? It's called Jack's Weird World. Okay. We are weird. Perfect. That you can say, stay weird. Yeah, yeah. Stay weird. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Good work with the mate, bro. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Now we're just crossing the street over to this famous Argentinian landmark. El Obelisco. El Obelisco, which was built, erected to commemorate this intersection here in Buenos Aires, one of the largest intersections they have. In the largest avenue that they have, Avenida Nueve de Julio, which at one point in time was the largest avenue in the world. But I think there's a larger one somewhere else now. And the famous BA behind it. All of the tourists lining up to get some photos. I'll bomb these photos. Buenos Aires. Oh, BA. Castamos. So Avenida Nueva de Julio runs north to south. Runs north to south all the way to Ave de Libertador which then runs east to west. So this runs, this runs north-south between Constitución and Retiro, where I just was. Constitución is the other large, is the other large train station down the end there. I can hear some live music coming from across the way. So let's continue this afternoon walk here in Buenos Aires. There in the distance, you can see the other famous landmark here on the Nueve de Julio. The portrait of Eva Perón, who was the first lady of Argentina way back in the day. She was also an actress, an activist, philanthropist, politician. She did it all. Hence, the large steel portrait of her up on the side of that building. It's quite prominent. I'm unsure how it's coming up in the video. But there it is. So this intersection where I am now is El 25 de Mayo, where this street meets Nueva de Julio. Now this is also a very prominent street here in Buenos Aires because it connects Casa Rosada to Congress at either end. Casa Rosada is where the president spends most of his days and Congress is obviously where the Argentinian politicians congregate to figure out how they can save this country. Or my guess is that they're trying to figure out how they can steal more money from the Argentine population, which is quite unfortunate. Casa 
Casa Rosada, the pink house. Famous for being pink, but another historical event that happened here in La Casa Rosada was back in 2001. El Argentinazo, I think they call it. In one of the first economic crises that was here in Argentina. And the Argentinian people were rioting. There's tons of unrest and for a good cause because the government was stopping them from withdrawing their money and some riots and protests were happening around this pink building behind the motto of get them out of here que se vayan todos and the Argentinian president had to escape in a helicopter from the angry Argentines I would not want to be on the side of an angry Argentine actually been there before not fun Tons of stones with names of people written all over them. Looks like I've come into an event here. That seems to be the luck that I have. Argentines are very patriotic, as you can see. Enfermero, enfermera, médico, todo. Los familiares pusieron las piedras con los nombres. Sí. ¿Vos dónde sos? Yo soy de Australia. Sí. Bueno, esto es capital federal. Claro. ¿Y los barrios pobres cuántos murieron? Más. ¿El jueves estás vos? ¿El jueves? Capaz que sí, que está pasando aquí a jueves. ¿Tres de la tarde? Sí. Eh, vienen las madres. Sí. Ah, de los desaparecidos. Sí. Claro. Tiene 92, 94 años. Locura, en su sillita de ruedas, emponchadita, viene un ratito. A, a las 3 de la tarde. Sí. Gracias. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Linda. Linda, soy ya. Escúchame. So yeah, I think as the sun is setting, I'm going to end that video here. A quick stroll through Buenos Aires. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed walking around here and filming people in the street talking to a camera by myself anyways buenas noches buenas tardes and thank you for watching ciao